Hey, it's Dave. Welcome back to my channel. So I posted that peg intro because um, I did mine a year ago when I posted the way I always played it and taught the way I play it. Uh, I watched Jay Graydon recently play it, and so I figured I would play it his way, um, which I should because it's his solo. That's why I reposted it, and so um, I posted it that way. And then a lot of people commented, which I think some were very nice comments saying like, hey, that's not the right way it plays, but it still sounds good. And then some people are just like, that's cheap, you know, whatever, I'm just making jokes. It's fine. But I figured I would maybe comment on some comments that I'm getting on my page. Um, because in general, I just don't really care to comment. Um, because I, if somebody wanted to message me, I've put it out there how they can get a hold of me. If you want to go to my... Uh, not my personal Facebook page, but my Dave's Guitar Channel page on Facebook. Or if you wanted to email me, um, at my Outlook.com email, that's fine. But in general, um, I don't really care. Um, I mean, it's nice to hear nice things. Uh, but there's like a lot of negative, and I guess I get it. People like to feel, make themselves feel good. I've gotten a couple recently about guitar stuff, telling me like I'm I'm a dummy and I don't, and I don't know anything about physics, and it's such a good laugh for them, and um, it's embarrassing for them. I'm embarrassed for them for saying those things because they clearly don't understand um, the physics of a vibrating string, and that the vibrating string, it doesn't matter if the body's vibrating and making the string vibrate more, the string cannot vibrate outside of its physical properties. A pickup, depending on where it is on the string, it's going to pick up that frequency and that tonality and send it off to the output jack. Now, if this, if it's here, close to, let's say the bridge, say if I'm holding the guitar, and the bridge is way back here, and I put the pick up there it's going to be brighter sounding because it's it's going to be towards the end of the string the more i go closer to the center it's going to have a deeper warmer sound which is why a neck pickup will always sound um fatter and fuller than a bridge pickup that sounds brighter and thinner people can sit there and say well that's because the bridge pickup they, they wire differently yeah they wire it differently because otherwise there would be too much of an output difference and they don't want to have that much of an output difference so they underwind some of the neck pickups or make it have a lower resistance and uh, millivoltage um, because the volume coming in on the frequency is going to be that much louder so for the guy that was saying about something about an l5 it doesn't matter you can hear, like, I've seen a guy playing L5 with a Charlie Christian in the neck pickup. And then you can go watch, is it Tim Lurch uh, on YouTube, play his Charlie Christian pickup in the neck of his telly, and it sounds just like an L5. Yes, you're watching a telly, so you're going to say, no, it sounds like a telly to me. Yeah, it doesn't. The uh, pickup is what matters, and, um, and where the placement of the pickup is, and obviously the height and closeness to the strings that it is and the strings that would be your variables in sound your strings how close are the pickups to the strings and then we're along the scale length and what's the scale length obviously because that's one of the variables are what's going to determine how your guitar sounds uh, years ago i used to use stainless steel picks and i used to think like they made the tone brighter and uh Maybe it did to my ears of the reflective sound, but it didn't when I listened to it coming out of the amp and then listened to what I recorded using a, uh, like one of these types of picks, an extra heavy Fender. There's, you can't hear the difference, so it doesn't matter. Um, a lot of that stuff is about, like, if you sit there and play an L5, it's going to have this acoustic guitar sound to you because it's a giant, like, acoustic guitar that's force resonance and it's going to have a big sound. But that's not what the amplifier is hearing. That's not the information the amplifier is getting from the pickup. The pickup is only seeing mag the magnetic flux in the breakup in the in the magnetic uh, in the in the magnetic uh, force in the magnetic field. There's a magnetic field. The string disrupts it, and that sends a signal out to the output jack. It doesn't. The body doesn't matter. 
the pickup doesn't know what wood's holding the strings and it sure as shit doesn't care it's not a thinking entity and it's not so what you hear when you play the guitar acoustically has zero difference as to what you're going to hear coming out of that um, out of the amplifier and if you think so go listen to some ted nugent and tell me which one what songs he's playing a les paul and what songs he's using a birdland because i can't tell the difference van halen one he's using a strat with a gibson humbucker and he's using a gibson les paul and he's using a ibanez um destroyer go listen and tell me which guitar is which um anyways uh, enough about that but i just wanted to comment on that and some other comments um some people have been asking me what i use i am using uh, to make my videos what am i what amp am i using and how is it being recorded into my computer i'm using a fender mustang 2 version 2 that goes in i keep it right under my desk here to my my right screen left i guess and um it's plugged in via USB. So what happens is I'm using a program called OBS Studio, 64-bit for Windows. And um, I have to go in and make the, like when I, you know, I can see the, the line coming in from the amplifier. And then I can also see audio that comes in from the desktop, whether it's YouTube for a backing track or I'm using a different... Uh, or if I'm using like an MP3, either way, I have to then make the desktop audio, I have to add latency to it and put it behind. So when I hear the guitar, and rec so there's a process there. And what sucks is, so I play it like once or twice, and then I listen and I'm like, ooh, I'm coming in, you know, I'll usually when I play it once or twice, I'm, I heavily accent downbeats. So I can hear where the downbeat is and I can hear how off it is. And then I go and I correct it. So once I know it's lined up, usually by then I've played the solo four or five times. And I'm like, all right. And usually then I can just bang it out with one or two takes. Um, so in that respect, it's uh, it's a pain in the ass. But it's it's really relatively cheaply done that way. And then I use uh, Wondershare Filmora to edit everything down in. So for the people that were curious as to um, as to that, that's what I'm using. Um, I've posted quite a bit of Steely Dan stuff. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm the biggest Steely Dan fan in the world. I'm not. I, I like them. And I just figured like when I posted their solos, that would be something that people aren't really doing um, or doing correctly or doing that sound convincing so I, that's the reason why I posted those videos it's really not like that I listen to Steely Dan 24 7 and and that's the ultimate thing for me because it's really not I listen to everything from like um, I mean I listen to everything uh, this week I've been listening to a lot of R&B stuff because I'm doing this band project and I'm playing bass so I was listening to, um, like today, I was listening to The Ghetto by um, Donny Hathaway. I was listening to uh, Sweet Thing by Rufus. Um, but I listen to all styles of music. I like them all. I think they're all somewhat similar. There's cool things to pick about and pick apart when you hear different styles of music. I mean, um, when you hear stuff like, uh, like country, you know, the bends are really crisp and... Um, and it's very clean played and you know like r&b it's kind of um there's a lot of the same chords being played they love the six chord um there's just a, a the major sevens are nice it's it's a nice style of music and um i just think that all these music different styles it's like to me it's like seasoning if you like chicken you like chicken I can put a million different spices on it. Some of the spices you're not going to like. And that's kind of how it is in music. You know, it's like... you And especially, like, you can listen to some songs and it's... Uh, you know, like, I know people that don't like jazz. So they hate Steely Dan because it's, you know, jazz-influenced pop. And, uh, and I get it. They don't like those... They don't like to hear those, like, rich harmonies in the, in the, in the chords. And, uh, and okay... I get it. You don't like it. You don't like it. Um, I can't say there's a kind of music I don't like because I kind of like it all. 
Um, except I really don't like pop. Today's pop, like just stuff that's just so dumbed down. Like, uh, and I, and I'm not a big fan of Ed Sheeran. I just don't like that kind of music. Um, I I just don't think it's clever enough, and it doesn't make me think. And I don't think like, oh, it's not moving to me. You know, whereas like if I hear someone playing acoustic, if you leave me now that I just did, I would be like, oh, that's nice. Because those, it's, it's a, there's more to the song than just GCD, I guess. And not that GCD is so wrong because there's some beautiful songs that have those chords. It's just whatever Ed Sheeran's doing, I'm not into it. Eh, that's, a, that's all I can say about that. Um, other things. Uh, I'm thinking about changing my pedal board around even more, and some people ask me to show more stuff on my pedal board. I will, but I'm in the middle right now of... I want to put some more filters on, more delays, so I'm going to swap boards. I'm going to make the bigger board be my filter board and the smaller board be my drive board because I realize even when I'm using like a non-distorted amp, like my Hot Rod Deluxe, that I'm really only using like two drives. And I use the Timmy as the the boost the solo boost and it adds a touch more gain but i really love the boiling point by rockbox and i really like the ac booster by exotic effects um i like the angry charlie i'm finding it hard to use it because it doesn't work well with other pedals so the timmy doesn't like it that much they they don't react correctly for me um and i haven't decided what I, if i'm going to keep that one yet and there's some, there are some other great drives. I just don't know if I would use them or if I do use them enough to care. Anyways, I'm going to try to do a lot more videos. I've been racking my brain as to what songs to play. So if you have some ideas of some songs, please feel free to post and tell me what you'd want to hear, like what solo that I can play for you, or if there's a part of a song you want to know. Um, otherwise, it's just more and more rant and raving, and, um, and that's all good too. All is well and very good. That's not always time. That's right. <laughs> You're right on target. You're right on the money. Everything you said. You hit the nail right on the head with your comments, what you're saying today. You're 150% correct.